Thank you. Um, if anyone else wants to sing, you guys can go ahead. Oh. Junia, do you have any songs to sing for us? I don't have a song, but I have a verse. Okay, hold on. We're going to do songs first, and you can go first to say the verse. Asaf and Anu, do you guys have any? We are going to sing There Were Twelve Disciples. I want to sing one song. Can I sing one song? Yes. 232. Alive, alive, alive. Okay? My Jesus is alive. He's alive forever. Forever. He's the only one reason and alive Lord and Savior. Okay? Thank you, Selena, for giving me time. Thank you, Uncle, for singing. Um, I think we should go ahead and start with our verses and our Bible studies that we have prepared. So, Grania, you see you have um, a verse prepared? Yes. Uh, Matthew 19, and it says 14 as well. Jesus said, let the children come to me. Don't stop them, for, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to those who are like these children. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Rachel, do you have anything prepared? Okay. I think I want to do the Ask the Little Kids first. So does Eunice or Jesse, do you guys have anything prepared? No? Okay, I think we're going to Elijah. I'm pretty sure he has something. Elijah, ready to Yeah, I do. I have a story. So this story is about forgiveness. And God can always forgive us. Oh, yeah. Esau and Jacob. Isaac, Isaac and Rebecca prayed that they would have children. They were happy when God gave them twin sons. The first one was born Esau. Then came Jacob. The twins did not look at each other. They did not act the same. Esau grew up to be a hunter. His skin was woody and he had lots of hair on his hands, arms, and neck. Jacob had smooth skin. He was a quiet man who stayed home and found the iron, the yam. Esau grew old. He could hardly see anymore. He wanted to give his blessing to his innocent. Esau would then become the leader of people. He said he had it. But God has told Rebecca that the younger son would be the leader. So she made Jacob dress in Esau's best clothes. Then she put hairy goat skins on Jacob's arms and hands to make them feel like Esau's. When Isaac called for Esau, Rebecca said Jake sent Jacob into the tent instead. Isaac knew this. Isaac knew the smell of Esau's clothes. He touched Jacob's hands and thought they were hands of Esau's, of Esau. He gave Jacob his blessing and made him the hero of people of Abraham. God comes to Jacob. When, when Esau found out that he asked his place, as the next leader of the people, he was very angry. He said that he would kill Jacob. Rebecca told Jacob he must leave home right away. He must go live with his uncle in Haran for a while. And so Jacob left home and went out alone into the desert. He walked all day. When the sun went down, he stopped to sleep. There was a pile of stones nearby. Jacob took one of the stones and used it as a pillow. 
Jacob went to sleep and had a dream. He saw a great stairway that went up all the way to heaven. He saw angels climbing up and down the stairway, and there above them he saw God. So if you don't know what stairway is, then it's it's down here, so I'll read it too. Stairway. The stairway that Jacob saw in his dream is also known as Jacob Yaddle. The bottom of the stairway was on earth, and it's up to heaven. That was the photo of Jacob the stairway. That was means. That's what it means. This, this stairway. So, Stella, you. now you know what that means? Ah, it's the same page. Jacob woke up and remembered his dream. How great this place, he thought. This is the gate of heaven. Jacob took the stone. He had dreamed on it, set up in the sand. He named the place Rettel, which means the house of God. He saw the birds. Thank you. Does Karen have one? Yes, I have a really short story. Okay, why don't you go ahead? Okay, so uh, Luke chapter 15, verse 11, and like so on. Okay, a certain man had two sons, and the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that followeth to me. And he divided unto them his living. And not many days after the younger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country and there wasted his substance with rituous living. And when he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine in that land and he began to be in want. And he went and joined himself to a citizen of a tree and he sent him into his fields to feed swine, also known as pigs. And he would eat. No man gave unto him. And when he came to himself, he said, How many hired servants of my father's bread enough and to spare, and I perish with hunger. I will arise and go to my father and will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee. And am no more worthy to be called your son. Make me as one of your hired servants. And he arose and came to his father. But when he was yet a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in your sight and am no more worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, bring forth the best robe and put it on him and put a ring on his hand and shoes on his feet, and bring and bring hither the fatted calf, and kill it, and let us eat and be merry. For this my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. And they began to be merry. So here we can see that the prod prodigal son, um, he had went afar off with his money that he had, that his father had saved for him. And he went and he spent it all and when he had no more, he was wasted and like, and he went and there was a famine there and, and he started to eat food of the pigs. And he said, even my father's servants eat better than this. And so he went back to his father, but he said, I'm not going to be like my father's son anymore. I'm going to be his servant. And so he went, but then from a great distance, his father saw him and he ran and hugged him and kissed him and gave him the best robes and a ring and cut food for him and all of that. And this just shows that us as people, like whenever we go far off from Jesus, no matter how far we go and whenever we return to him, he will always be willing to accept us with open arms. And yeah, that's just so amazing. Thank you so much. Hey, thank yes, you, Karen. Yeah. Go ahead, I wanna hand this time to Joseph. John two fifteen, you have not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man you have the world, the yoke of the father is not with him. Karen, who is um next to you guys? Is it Jason? 
It's powder. Uh, it's our cousin. Uh, okay. Ow! It's why it's does Jay Joseph do that? Okay. If he has a message, he can share too. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, China. Eh? Okay. Asab, do you have one? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, Asab. Who's your brother? The boy who slept in the church. It happened at a place called Troas on the coast of Asia Minor. Pa had just returned from Greece where he had gone to encourage the new believers. After spending a week with the Christians in Troas, he had met up with them again on the first day of the week in the upper chamber on the third story of some local building. So the grand old missionary had no doubt already preached in the morning and perhaps Sabbath afternoon. Then on the first day of the week, which in those days began at sunset at Saturday night, he held yet another meeting. He wanted to celebrate the Lord's Supper before leaving in the morning. Nobody knows the exact hour when this meeting began, but we do know when it was interrupted and when it was finally ended. Paul had so much to say and so many wonderful stories that to tell that he prolonged his speech until midnight. How many people were those during that long, long service? We, we are not told, but the name of the boy who went fast, fast asleep will never be forgotten. If your father was sitting in the window and sank down to a deep sleep as Paul talked, talked still no longer. Evidently, the window was open and the poor lad fell out and hit the ground with the fearful thoughts three stories down. You can imagine the commotion. Paul was forgotten. Women screamed and men rushed outside to see what had happened. Everyone was wide awake now and the word was passed one from another. If he says, go out the window and he's dead. A lantern held high in someone's hand where the body lay in a crowd quickly gathered around it. We need to type this one. What about the... Nobody could see much in the dim light. Then Paul came striding through. Pressing his way to the front, he knelt down beside Ethugis and put his arms about him, much as Alicia, long years before he had embraced the dead son of the Shemunet woman. After a few moments, he stood up again. Don't worry, he said, he's alive. Everybody was amazed. They couldn't understand it, but there was no doubt what Paul said was true. Some of the members picked the boy up and took him home, and we are not a little, and we were not a little comforted. You might think that this would have brought the meeting to a close. Oh no! After a little break, Paul went right back to the pulpit and carried on from where he had left off. The Bible says that when he had gone upstairs again and had broke broken bed and eaten, he conserved them. A long while until daybreak, and so departed. What happened to Ethridus afterward? We're not. We are not told. But when he grew up, and heard his friends talking about the wonderful night when the apostle Paul preached, preached in the church, he must have always had a feeling of regret. That was the greatest night in the history of shows, and he knew nothing about it. He slept through it all. It doesn't pay to sleep in church. Thank you, Asa. Um, <laughs> Jesse. Um, I think has everyone gone that wants to go. I think Simon's gonna go next. I, so, I, I, I do. Hey, Jesse, Jesse. Jesse, sit nicely. Jesse, sit nicely. Good evening, everyone. Uh, Sabaila, Jay Masi. And 
piece of it. And we will, and I will be saying a short, well, a 10 to 15 minute talk about the book of the Philippians. So if you turn to the book of Philippians, so as we talked about yesterday in the introduction, there's a couple more things I have to add. Introduction When Paul and Silas was in Philippi, uh, they were imprisoned. You probably are wondering why Paul and Silas were imprisoned. If someone could read Acts 16:22-24. Yeah. And the multitude rose up together against them, and the magistrate rent off their clothes and commanded to beat them. They and then they went had laid many straps upon them, they cast them to him prison, charging the jailer to keep them safely, who having received such a charge, thrust them unto the inner prison and made their feet. Fast in stocks. Lagaune Nigrani, and if you could read Acts 16, 16 through 18. And it came to pass, as we went to prayer, a certain damsel possessed with the spirit of de divination met us, which brought her master such gain by soothsaying. The same followed Paul and us and cried, saying, These men are the servants of the Most High God, which sue unto us the way of salvation. And this, this she may many days, but Paul being struck, grieved and turned and said to the spirit, I command thee in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And he came out on the same hour. Jab ami prat nagarne thoma goi reka thiyo, taba jokhana erne atma bai ki yoti kamari keti sanga amro bed bayo. Just le jokhana erra tis kamali kor ko nimti derei kamai gari din thi. त्यो पावल र हाम्रा पछि पछि लागि र यसो भन्दै चिचाई यी मानिसहरु सर्वोच्च परमेश्वरको सेवा करो हुन् इनीहरुले तिमीहरुलाई मुक्तिको बाटोको घोषणा गर्छन् त्यसले धेरै दिनसम्म यसो गरिरहि तब पावलले झिजो मानेर फनक्क फर्की त्यस दुष्ट आत्मालाई भने यीशु ख्रिस्टको नाममा म तलाई त्यसबाट निस्किने आज्ञा गर्छु अनि त्यो दुष्ट आत्मा त्यही गरी निस्किहाल्यो Paul met with the with a slave girl who is having a spirit of divination. Ani Paul le chayi ani rikosori orda dushta atma jokhana erne istri sanga bete ko cha. And Paul was greatly annoyed. Ani kosori Paul la chayi sare dikka laay ko thiyo, jizo laay ko thiyo. And so Paul commanded the divination spirit in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. Ani kosori Paul le chayi dikka laay ko karan le karta thiyo. And it came out that very moment. When her masters, who had profited from this girl's predictions, when her masters saw what, she, what had happened, they were furious with Paul. Ani Paul malik they dragged him and Silas into the market before the authorities. Ani kosari Silas ra, Paul ra Silas chai, bazaar chai, bazaar chai, akim ka, uh, Here we see Paul and Silas did nothing wrong. Paul ra Silas le but they only casted out the divination spirit. Ani kosari because Paul casted out the divination spirit, they 
put them into the prison. Ah, Koshiri Paul le chetiyo dushta atma lai tiyo keti bata nikale ko karan le garda hari. Aja unir je koi khana ma parno pare kothiyo, jal khana ma parno pare kothiyo. Now, if we could read Acts sixteen thirty seven through thirty nine. Uh, thirty seven bata thirty nine pani mala parna saita garda nos. Surako. But Paul said unto them, They have beaten us openly, uncondemned, being Romans, and have cast, cast us into prison. And now do they tr thrust us out privily? Nay, verily, but let them come themselves and fetch us out. And the surgeons told these words unto the mag magistrate, and they feared when they heard that they were Romans. And they came and besought them, and brought them out, and desired them to depart out of the city. तर पावलले तिनीहरुलाई भने हामी रोमी नागरिकहरुलाई दोषी नै नठराइकन उनीहरुले मानिसहरुको सामुने पिटे र जेलखानामा पनि हाले र अब हामीलाई गुप्तमा निकाल्न खोज्छन् यो हुन सक्दैन उनीहरु उनीहरु आफै आउन र हामीलाई निकालेर लैजाउन ती सिपाहीहरुले हाकिमहरुलाई यो कुरा सुनाए तिनीहरु त रोमी नागरिक रहेछन् भन्ने कुरा सुनेर उनीहरु डराए उनीहरुले आएर तिनीहरुसँग क्षमा मागे र तिनीहरुलाई बाहिर लगेर शहर छोडी जाने अनुरोध गरे when the when Paul reminded them that they had beaten him, uh, a Roman citizen, and had imprisoned him without a trial, the the policemen reported these words to the chief mag magistrates. They were afraid when they heard that they were Roman citizens. And they kept and they came and appealed to them. And when they had brought them out, they kept begging out them to leave the city. After continued appeals from the magistrates to leave the city, Paul and his companions first went to visit in the home of Lydia. She accepted the gospel message. She became the first known convert to Christianity on the continent of Europe. And if we could read Acts 16 40. And they went out of prison and entered into the house of Lydia. And when they had seen the brethren, they comforted them and departed. And they went out of the prison and entered the house of Lydia. And when they saw the brethren, they encouraged them and departed. And then they left, left Philippi. About 10 years later, Paul wrote to the Philippians. He was in prison again. The Philippians had heard that Paul was in prison, so they sent a gift of money to him. Ephroditus had been commissioned to carry this gift to Paul. After delivering it, he decided to stay there a while and help out help the apostle in his troubles. Aphrodite himself became ill in carrying out these duties. Aphrodite himself became ill in carrying out these duties. 
रत्यो जिम्मेवारी मा वो जिम जिम्मेवारी गार्दे गार्दा उच्चे बिरामी पारे। In fact, he nearly died. साथ से वो जंदे मरिया लेका थिए जंदे मरे मरन मरनसिल समा पुए का थियो। But God had mercy on him and raised him back to health once again. कसरी परमेश्वर को कृपा वहाँ माथि भाई को कारण परमेश्वर ले फिरी स्वास्थ्य तुल्यावनो भायो अफ्रीटास लाइन। He is ready to go back to Philippi to his home assembly. अनि कसरी वो चाहे अब वो फिलिपी में फिरी आपने मंडली फरकी जाना वो तत्पर भायो रेडी भायो तैयार भायो। And so the apostle is sending back this letter of acknowledgement with him. अनि ऐसे कारण कसरी पावल ले पनी यो संपूर्ण कुरारों में ले प्राप्त करे बन रहा चाहिए वड़ा स्वीकर स्वीकृत पत्री चाहिए फिलिपिलाई यो पत्री ये ती वाला लेखता था। As we learned earlier last week, the letter is addressed to all the saints in Christ Jesus who are in Philippi. अनि आमिर ले पहले आपता में एरेको एरेको समय में चाहे मिले कि एरेको चीज वाने यो पत्री में भाई को संपूर्ण कुरार चाहिए कसरे फिलिप का मंडली अरुलाई ये कुरार लेखे को थियो त्यां को विश्वास चला एड्रेस करे का थिए। The Philippians assembly was generous, sending support to Paul time and again. अनि कसरी फिलिप का मंडली अरु चाहे मंडली अरु ले चाहे आ गरी गरी पावल ले चाहे सायता पढ़ाई राई का थिए सायक पढ़ाई राई का थिए। And that humanly speaking is the reason for this thank you letter. अनि ऐसे कारण ले पनी यो पत्री में चाहे कसरी धन्यवाद को कुरा अरु बता को उन्पर � it the apostle, then the apostle mentions the bishops and deacons. कसरे फिलिपी को एक को एक पद में चाहे बिशाप वरुरा मन आ डिकन्स वरु वनरा क्या निरे उद्रित करिए कुछ हो। The bishops were the elders or overseers in the assembly. अनि बिशाप बने को चाहे त्यां कली पाक वरु जस्ले चे मंडली को आ कुरार मा वास्ता करती हो या चार करती हो। Those who took a pastoral interest in the flock of God. अनि कुछ जो जो अरुले चे परमेश्वर को बगाल अरला चाराओं ने रहे रखवाली करने काम में ध्यान दिन थियो। The deacons, on the other hand, were the servants of the church who were probably concerned with its material affairs such as finances and etc. अनि कुछ अरे deacons अरु वाने का चे आर को तरफ deacons अरु चा जो deacons अरले चे मंडली को आ भावती की कुरारु पैसा रुपी कुरारु जस्तो यार ने कुरार में चे डिकन सरले गर्न पढ़ते हो काम करते हो। The saints who are in Philippi describes the dual position of the believers। अनि कोसरे त्यानेरे चे आ फिलिपी में भाई को मंडली अर्प चे दो ही स्तार को आवश्यकता रहा मैं देख सों। Paul also mentions their spiritual status and also how they were set apart by God in Christ Jesus. अनि कसरी पावल ले चुके उन्हें को आत्मिक स्तर तक कस्तो थियो बनने कुरा और कसरी परमेश्वर ले क्रिस्टीस को निम्ति उन्हें लाचे अलग गरे को थियो बनने कुरा यानी रे आमिर ले रहे सों। So in Philemon one through nine, it says about Paul. Paul said, "I am an old man and now also a prisoner of Christ Jesus." अनि कसरी फिलेमन को एक को नौ पद माचे फिलेमन को नौ पद माचे आ मैं पावल मैं ब्रिदा वाई अनि मच कैदी पनी हूँ वन रत्यां निर्देश लिखे कुछ हाँ। Paul was now an older man। अनि Paul जी कसर यहाँ निर्देश ब्रिदा भाई कुछ हाँ। While Timothy was still quite young। अनि Timothy जी आज पनी जवान था। We still we see Timothy was young and Paul was in old age। अनि आमिर ले यहाँ कसर इतिमाती लाये चाहे जवान रा Paul लाये चाहे अतिने ब्रिदा देख सों। But also the how they yoke together in the service of God. तारे पनी आमिर ले कुछ ये परमेश्वर को काम को निम्ति चाहे उन्हें रु दुई जाना ये उटे आलम जो त्ये को देख सों ना रे को देख सों. And how we see both are described as bond servants of Jesus Christ. अनि कुछ ये आमिर ले दुई जाना लाने प्रभु यीशु क्रिस्ट को सेवा ये वड़ा दासो बन्दरा बाने को करा रहा मैं देख सों. We're gonna start in Philippians twelve. The first verse says, "But I want you to know, brethren, that the things which have happened to me have actually turned out for the furtherance of the gospel." Bayo timi or layo thaos banne mo chanceu ki mama ti ay lai ka kura aru ko vasta vasta ma susama charla agi bada ne kam bay ko cha. Philippians twelve through eighteen is about Paul's imprisonment. And the prayer has now ended, and Paul next rehearses his blessings. Okay. कसरे एक दिखी एक आरा पद सांग कोचे कसरे धन्यवाद रा प्रार्थना को करारु थियो बने दिखन लाई त्यां सक्के बन्धन लाई बारा दिखले रा आठ आरा पद समाचे कसरे पावल चे कोई खाना मा परे को जेल खाना मा परे को करारु उल्लेख कर रे कसा। This first verse is about Christ is preached. 
अनि यो पहिलो पदमा चाहिँ कसरी ख्रिस्टलाई प्रचार गरे भन्ने कुरा लेखिएको छ तिमीले त्यति मात्रै गर्दा हुन्छ होला आज टाइम निकै जाउ Yes, I want to thank the Lord that I get to that we get to come here and gather and share the gospel with each other. Sorry, my permission, Lord, and never did so. You believe you consider me so as an acre, Cassana Bedwara. I made the Kikuraru, Barchur Garneota, Mauka permission, Lady Novakosa. Last week, I read um, and said a little bit of Jonah chapter one. Ah, Cossary, my lay, uh, you know, Pustake, Cataveta, Kikuraru. Um, this week, I want to continue with Jonah chapter 2. So in the end of Jonah chapter 1 last week, we read that the Lord had prepared a great fish to swallow no Jonah. And in the end of Jonah chapter 1 last week, we read that the Lord had prepared a great fish to swallow Jonah. And in the end of Jonah chapter 1 last week, and we see that the we see that Jonah was in the fish's belly for three days and three nights. And in Kosari, Jonah chay matcha ko pet ma tin din ra tin raat umbai ko pura amele dekhe kasi hum. In Jonah chapter two, Jonah is praying from the fish's belly. And in two other days, matcha Kosari Jonah le chay matcha ko pet baata praat na gari rahe kuchh. And last week I also talked about how Jonah portrays the nation of Israel as the past. Present and future. In chapter 2, Jonah's prayer is foreshadowing the future repentance of the uh, Jewish nation during the time of tribulation. This is when all nations acknowledge the Messiah as the Savior. And in Kosari, the Sabai, Jews, Yodi, Jati, or let's say, Messiah, Krishna, Messiah, Nuncha, and Nekura, Leguner, let's say, Tekurala, Swikar Garnetsa. Now the time is, now the time of tribulation is Daniel's last week. And in Kosari, your Sankastako Samate, Daniel Kanti, Maptao. In total, Daniel had 70 weeks. Sixty-nine weeks had already been fulfilled. The last week or the tribulation period is going to happen in the future. This will happen after the church has gone up. Um, to heaven with the Lord Jesus Christ. And you check us already. Mandali chay Prabhu Christ sanga surga gay sa ke pichari yu pura gatne cha yu gatna hune cha. In chapter two, Jonah was casted into the vast sea, and he was expecting to die. Ani kosh sorry doya day ma chay amir le eri mane yu na chay abo ekdam samundra ko pith ma cha ani uche marne lai ko cha. But God's grace has saved him. Tara Parmeshwar ko anugra le uche bachai ko cha. In chapter 1, Jonah had a choice to go down to Joppa to get on the ship and to go to Tarshish. But however, right now, he does not have a choice as he went into the belly of the fish. He is left in the belly of the fish to God's mercy. And God's mercy is that he was going to teach Jonah a lesson. I want to read verses 1 and 2. And Jonah prayed unto the Lord his God out of the fish's belly. 
and said, I cried by reason of mine affliction unto the Lord. And he heard me, out of the belly of hell I cried. I and thou heardest my voice. Yonale Machako Pet Vitravata Param Prabhupada Parmes or Lai Pukara Gare, Prathna Gare, Tinleva Ne, Mile Afna Sankastama Param Prabhupada Pukara Gare, Ravale Mala Jwak Dinava, Chian Bata, Chianko Gare Bata, Saita Konimti Mile Pukare, Ratapale Mero Krandan Dian Sita Sunavayo. Now Jonah did not pray because he was ready to accept God's will. Aniyati Kosari Yonale Prathna Gare Rakasana Parmesur Ki Chakesa Tiokura Ule he prayed because he was in danger and only God could deliver him. He was praying, but he wasn't ready to accept God's will. Okay, okay, okay. I'm I'm sorry. Yonale Chitani Prat Nagore Torapani Parmesur to each hatch of Le Ajapani Manna Chire Kosaina. He was praying because he was in danger and God is the only one who could save him. I see around here a lot of Christians are like Jonah. They pray or remember God or call out to God only when they're in the times of trouble. So we should pray to the Lord in the times of trouble and we should pray to him to give thanks to him in the times of joy also. At the same time, in verse 2, Jonah says that God hears him in his prayer. Just as the Lord hears Jonah, the Lord also hears us. Prayer is a powerful thing in a Christian's life. I want to go down to verse 3. It says, For thou hast cast into the deep, Cast me into the deep, and in the midst of the seas, and the floods come past about me, and all thy billows and thy waves passed over me. Uh, As God cast Jonah into the deep, God is reminding Jonah of what the people of Nineveh are going through. The people of Nineveh are helpless, just as Jonah in this situation. Jonah was uncompassionate towards Nineveh. Even in chapter 1, the marine, the mariners were compassionate towards Jonah. We read verse 13 of chapter 1. Nevertheless, man wrote hard to bring it to land, but they would not, for the sea rot and the tempest tempest against them. After Jonah had told them that he was, or after the mariners have found that the reason for the storm was because of Jonah. They still refuse to throw Jonah off the ship and try to row back to land to save him. Jonah 
Now we know that the Ninevites were a cruel and wicked nation. अनि आमिला था जा निना बेचे को सॉरी योरा आ क्रूर तारा योटा दुष्टा आ जाती रुथी हो. But the Lord is teaching Jonah to feel compassionate, compassionate for the people of Nineveh. तारा परमेश्वर ले योना लाजे को सॉरी आ निना बेचे का मंचे और माथी जे दया दिहाई रानु बाज आ परमेश्वर ले बन्ने कुरा सिकाउना चाहे रहेगा थी हो. This is a lesson for us too. आ यो चे आम्रो निम्ति बनी योरा सिक we need to have compassion for those who do not believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. अनि आज आमिर ले पनी को सरी प्रभु से प्रश्ला विश्वास नगर ने मानी सरला इसरे ने दया देखनु पर साथी ठियानु पर था. Even though some of the people that we know may seem like may have hard hearts and seem hopeless, like the Ninevites. अनि आज आमिर ले कती जना मानचे रला चे को सरी उन्हें को रिदाय मा रिदाय कठोर बाको अंते दी कुने पनी आशा ना बाई को अनि को सरी निन्ने � we still need to share the gospel to them. अन्य आमिर ले पसरी कृष्ण को सुसंदेश उन्हें अलग सुनाने पर चाहे सुसमाचार सुनाने पर चाहे। For that is God's will. ये चीज परमेश्वर की इच्छा हो। In verse three, Jonah is accepting God's discipline. अन्य को सरी तीन पद में चाहे परमे ये नाले चाहे परमेश्वर को तारा नालाई स्वीकार करे कुछ हो। And Jonah also knows that he deserves. Um, the discipline. अनि कोशिशी योना ले युक्त राला पनी याद कर सा मैं यो तारा ना कोई योग्या नहीं चु मैं लियो तारा ना पाऊं नहीं पर सा बन्ने को रापनी याद कर सा. The Lord disciplining <coughs> disciplining Jonah shows that Jonah is a child of God. अनि कोशिशी परमेश्वर ले चाहिए योना ले बेवार कर दा हरी चाहिए उल्लेख नहीं छोरा ले जस्ते ही बेवार करी रहे कुछ हा. For God disciplines His children. अनि परमेश्वर ले अपनो छोरा छोर if we read in Hebrews 12, I may Patri Bara Dema, I may lay Podimane, um, seven and eight, a Baraka Satra at Pot. If ye endure chastening, God deal with you as with the sons, and what son is he whom the father chases not? But if he be without chastement, thereof all the partakers, then ye masters, and not sons. ताड़ाना को नियम थी नहीं तीमी रू पश्चात सांस हो परमेश्वर ले तीमी रू संगा छोरा ले जाए बेवार करना उनसा कि न कि बाउ ले ताड़ाना ना देखो कुंचे छोरा उनसा रा तारा ये दी सब ये जाना साबागी भाई को त्यो ताड़ाना तीमी रू ले पाए को छोव बने ता तीमी रू आखना बुआ को खास छोरा रू है न आह तब ये रहा मैं सभी जनों लाचे बेवार करने उनसा कि न वने आमी चे परमेश्वर को छोरा रहूँ कि न वने परमेश्वर ले सही ले तारा ना दिन उनसा Because he wants you to go in the path which he has set for you। कौशली आमी चे धार्मिकता को बाटो में जानू पर था ऐसे कारण ले वाले चे आमला तारा ना दिन उनसा मैं बाटो भी रहूँ दा। I want to read verses four and seven in Jonah chapter two। अनि मचे यो ना को कौशली I am cast out of thy sight, yet I will, will look again towards thy holy hill. Set, verse 7, When my soul fainted within me, I remembered the Lord, and my prayer came unto thee, unto thine holy temple. I am cast out of thy sight, yet I will look again towards thy holy hill. Set, verse 7, तपाईं को पवित्र मंदिर भित्र पुगियो। जोनास फेथ इन गॉड्स प्रॉमिस इज व्हाट इज सेविंग हिम। अनि कसरी योना को विश्वास और भरोसा र परमेश्वर को अनुग्रह द्वारा उसे बचाइए कुछ हा। The promise is looking towards God's holy temple। अनि कसरी त्यो प्रतिज्ञा चे परमेश्वर को मंदिर मा यर्ने कुरा छा। When King Solomon dedicated the temple in Jerusalem। जत जब चे राजा सोलोमन ले चे मंदिर चे यरुसलेम he asked God for a favor. अनि कोशिशी परमेश्वर को कृपा चाहिए आ मनुष्य रोमांटी परोस बन रहा बिंती करेगा थी. And we can read the favor in First King eight. हमें ले पहले राजा आठ आदाय में. Twenty nine and thirty. पहले राजा आठ को आ twenty nine रा उन्तीस रा तीस पद. That thine eyes may be open towards this house night and day, even towards the place of which thou hast said. My shall my name shall be there, and thou makest hearken unto the prayer which thy servant shall make towards this place. 
तपाईको नजर यस मन्दिरमा रात दिन रही रहोस् यस ठाउँमा जसको विषयमा तपाईले यसो भन्नु भएको थियो मेरो नाउ त्यहाँ रहने रहने छ ताकि तपाईको दासले यस ठाउँतिर फर्केर प्रार्थना गर्दा तपाईले सुन्नुहोस् And hearken thou to the supplication of thy servant and thy people Israel when they shall pray towards the place and hear thou in heaven thy dwelling place and when thou hearest forgive अ आफ्नो दास र आफ्नो प्रजा इजरायलले यस ठाउँतिर फर्केर प्रार्थना गर्दा तिनीहरूको नम्र निवेदन सुन्नुहोस् आफ्नो बासस्थान स्वर्गबाट स्वर्गबाट सुन्नुहोस् र जब तपाईले सुन्नुहुन्छ तब क्षमा गर्नुहोस् Whoever that calls upon his holy hill that the that God should hear them Ani kosari Raja Solomon le Parmeshwar lai anugraha gardinu te daya gardinu favor gardinu bhanne kura chai jati bela chai tapai ka manis haru tapai ka praja haru cha aphthara para prarthna garchan te kura suni dinu bhanne kura cha And we see Jonah doing the same here Ani kosari yana le pani yaha stay gareko cha We read verse 6 Hamile le chapat lai padhyau bhane I went down to the bottoms of the mountains and the the earth with her bars was about me forever yet hast thou brought my life from corruption o lord my god a chapat ma ma ta dada haru ko phedi samay tala dube prithvi le malai sada ko nimti thuni diyo tara herap he param prabhu mera parmeshwar tapai le mero jaan lai khaldo bata uthara lyaunu bhayo Jonah has no choice when he was in the depths of the sea अनि योनाको केही त्यहाँनिर छान्ने कुराहरु छैन जति बेला उ चाहिँ समुद्रको पीतमा छ लोर्ड जीसस अम ह्याड अ चोइस एन्ड विलिंगली गन इनटु डेथ अ तर प्रभु यीशु ख्रिस्टको पनि कसरी त्यहाँनिर चाहिँ उसले चोइस गर्ने कुरा चाहिँ यो थियो ताकि उ चाहिँ अ मृत्यु समय क्रुसमा जानु पर्ने थियो फर हिज लभ वाज स्ट्रंगर देन डेथ अनि कसरी उसको प्रेम चाहिँ त्यो मृत्यु भन्दा पनि प्रगाढ थियो रीडिंग वर्स 8 हामीले 8 पातला पढ्दाखेरि पढ्छौ They that observe lying vanities forsake their own mercy. जजले व्यर्थको मूर्तिहरु तिर मन लगाउँछन् तिनीहरुले पाउनु पर्ने अनुग्रहबाट तिनीहरु वञ्चित हुन्छन्. Jonah is saying Jonah is saying here that idols can turn people from God's love. अनि यानेरी कसरी योनाले चाहिँ मूर्तिहरुले चाहिँ परमेश्वरको प्रेमबाट मानिसलाई टाढा पुर्याउँछ भन्ने कुरा लेख्दछ भन्दछ. An idol does not have to be a statue. अनि आज मूर्ति भनेको चाहिँ कुनै पनि एउटा ढुङ्गाले ढुङ्गा बनाको एउटा कुनै पनि वस्तु होइन इट क्यान बी एनीथिंग इन योर लाइफ दैट टेक्स यू अवे फ्रॉम गॉड अ हाम्रो जीवनमा त्यो कुनै पनि कुरा हुन सक्छ जसले चाहिँ परमेश्वरबाट हामीलाई टाढा पुर्याउँछ त्यो नै मूर्ति हो जोनस आइडल वाज दैट ही वाज कन्सर्नड अबाउट हिज सेफ्टी एन्ड प्रोस्पेरिटी अफ हिज कन्ट्री अनि कसरी योनाको मूर्ति चाहिँ योनाको हठीपन चाहिँ के थियो भन्दाखेरि उसको निम्ति मूर्ति जस्तै भएर बसेको कुरा चाहिँ उसले चाहिँ कसरी प्रशस्तता र उसको मानिसहरू चाहिँ जहिले पनि सबै कुरामा प्रशस्तता भएर बसेको हेर्न चाहन्थे दिस लेट हिम टु रिबेल अगेन्स्ट द लॉर्ड एन्ड गो अगेन्स्ट हिज विल अनि कसरी कसरी उसको यो हठीपनले चाहिँ परमेश्वरसँगको विद्रोही हुन र परमेश्वरको विरुद्धमा उठ्न उसलाई मदत पुर्यायो जोना माई ह्याभ अल्सो बिन प्रोटेक्टिङ हिज रेपुटेसन मलाई माफ गर्नुहोस् ल मैले अलिकति गल्ती बोलेछु कि के रहेछ भन्दाखेरि यदि योनाले चाहिँ त्यहाँनिर पहिले नै अब चालिस दिन पछाडि चाहिँ निनाबे सहर चाहिँ ध्वस्त हुन्छ भन्ने कुरा त्यहाँनिर बोलेको रहेछ अनि यस कारणले गर्दाखेरि चाहिँ यदि अब उसले गएर फेरि निनाबेमा गएर चाहिँ तिमीहरू प्रस्ताव गर भनेर प्रचार गरे भने त त्यहाँको मान्छेहरू फर्किन्छ परमेश्वरमा अनि फर्कियो पछाडि चाहिँ योना चाहिँ झुटो अगम वक्ता कहलिन्छ भनेर उ त्यो गर्नु चाहँदैन रहेछ बोल्नु त्यहाँ प्रचार गर्नु चाहँदैन रहेछ माफ गर्नुहोस् है त and that was own selfish um selfishness ani tyo chai yona ko swarthi pan ho gamandi pan ho read verse 9 and now patla ami padne chau but i will sacrifice unto thee with the voice of thanksgiving i will pay that i have vowed salvation is of the lord tara mo ta dhanyabad ko stuti sahit tapai ma balidan chadaune chu maile je bhakal gareko chu so mo pura garne chu udhar param prabhu bata nai auchha Jonah knows that God is the only one who can save him. अनि योनालाई यो कुरा थाहा छ कि परम प्रभु परमेश्वरबाट मात्रै उद्धार आउँछ भन्ने कुरा हुन्छ भन्ने कुरा थाहा छ. Truly the salvation is of the Lord. अनि साच्चै नै यो कुरा सत्य हो. उद्धार चाहिँ परमेश्वरबाट हुन्छ, प्रभुबाट हुन्छ. Reading verse 10. अनि हामीले 10 पद पढ्छौ. And the Lord spake unto the fish and it vomited out Jonah upon dry land. अनि कुरा स्पष्टै 10 पदमा चाहिँ तब परम प्रभुले माछालाई आज्ञा गर्नुभयो र त्यसले योनालाई पाखामा उकेलिदियो 
As the fish vomited Jonah into dry land, it shows a picture of how God will restore Israel in the coming days. We can see from chapter 1 to chapter 2 how God has changed Jonah. As um, Karen was saying earlier how the prodigal son rebelled against his father and went away. So, um, so had Jonah um, rebelled against God. But God had brought Jonah back unto him. For if God chooses you, he will always find a way and make a way for you to come back unto him. Thank you and God bless you all. Dhanyabad Parmeshwar le sabal asis di honi. I think Elina is here now. Do you have anything to share? Elina, Elisa. I have something prepared. Um, hello everyone. Sabal ay jai masi. Uh, today, I'm going to be talking about uh, the parable of the unforgiving servant. So today, I'll be reading in Matthew 18, 21 through 35. Um, it says... Then Peter came to him and said, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me, and I forgive him, until seven times? Jesus says to him, I say not to thee until seven times, but until seventy times seven. For this, because um, the kingdom of heavens has become like a king who would reckon with his uh, bondmen, and have begun to reckon one a debtor of ten thousand talents was brought to him. But he, not having anything to pay, uh, his Lord commanded him to be sold, and his wife and his children and everything that he had, and that payment should be made. The bondman, therefore falling down, did him homage, saying, Lord, have patience with me, and I will pay thee all. And the Lord of that bondman, being moved with compassion, loosed uh, loosed him and forgave him the loan. But that bondman, having gone out, found one of his fellow bondmen who owed him a, a hundred denarii. And having seized him, he throttled him, saying, Pay me, if thou owest anything. His fellow bondman, therefore having fallen down at his feet, uh, besought him, saying, Have patience with me, and I will pay thee. But he would not be not but went away and cast him into prison until he should pay what was owing. But his fellow bondmen, having seen what had taken place, were greatly grieved and went and re uh, recounted to their Lord all that had taken place. Then his Lord, having called him to him, says to him, Wicked bondman, I forgive thee all that debt because uh, thou bes besought besoughtest me. Should uh, not thou have had compassion on thy fellow uh, bondman, as I also had compassion on thee? And his Lord, being angry, delivered him to the tormentors, till he paid all that was owing to him. Thus also my heavenly Father shall do to you, if ye forgive not from your hearts, everyone, everyone his brother. Okay. Mati Athara ko ekash bata batis sama. तब वहाँ का आरा पत्रों से बने प्रभु मेरो भाईले कती पलटो मेरो विरुद्ध मा अपराध गरे मैले तिसला छमा गरने के सात पलटो सम्मा ईशुले तीन ला बन्ना भाईओ मत तीमिला बंदा चु सात पलटो सम्मा भाई ना तरा सत्तरी गुना सात पलटा ऐसे कारण स्वर्ग को राज्य योटा 
एउटा राजासँग तुलना गर्न सकिन्छ जसले आफ्नो नोकरसँग हिसाब लिने इच्छा गरे जब तिनले हिसाब लिन लागे दस हजार सुनको सिक्का ऋण लिने एकजना तिनी कहाँ ल्याइयो तर त्यस मानिसले तिर्न नसक्दा त्यसका मालिकले त्यसलाई त्यसका पत्नी र त्यसका छोरा छोरीहरू र त्यसका सबै थोक बेची ऋण चुकाउने हुकुम दिए तब त्यसले नोकरलाई घोडा टेकी तब त्यस नोकरले घोडा टेकी तिनका पाउमा परेर भन्न लाग्यो मालिक म माथि धैर्य गर्नुहोस् म तपाईँको सबै ऋण चुकाउने छु तब त्यस नोकरले मालिकलाई टिठ्याएर त्यस तब त्यस नोकर नोकरका मालिकले टिठ्याएर त्यसलाई छोडिदिए र त्यसको ऋण माफी गरिदिए तर त्यस नोकरले निस्केर जाँदा आफ्नो सङ्गी नोकरहरूमध्ये एकजनालाई भेट्यो जो त्यसका एक सय चाँदीका सिक्काको ऋणी थियो उसलाई घोक्रामा पक्रेर त्यसले भन्यो मेरो ऋण तेरो ऋण तिरिहाल तर त्यसको सङ्गी नोकरले घोप्टो परेर त्यसलाई बिन्ती गर्यो म माथि धैर्य गर म तिमीलाई सबै ऋण तिरिदिनेछु तर त्यो मानेन र गएर ऋण नतिरिन्जेलसम्म उसलाई जेलखानामा हालिदियो त्यसका सङ्गी नोकरहरूले यो सब देखे र तिनीहरू अति दुखित भए तिनीहरूले गएर यी सब घटना आफ्नो मालिकलाई बताइदिए तब मालिकले त्यस नोकरलाई आफू कहाँ बोलाएर भने ए दुष्ट नोकर तैँले मसँग बिन्ती गरिस् र मैले तँलाई तेरो ऋण माफी गरिदिएँ मैले तँलाई तमाथि दया गरे झैँ तैँले पनि तेरो सङ्गी नोकरमाथि दया गर्नुपर्ने थिएन तब त्यस मालिकले क्रूर भएर त्यसलाई त्यसलाई सबै ऋण नतिरिन्जेल दण्ड दिइरहने हातमा सुम्पिदिनुभयो तिमीहरूले आफ्नो भाइलाई आफ्नो हृदयदेखि क्षमा गरेनौ भने स्वर्गमा हुनुहुने मेरा पिताले पनि तिमीहरूलाई त्यसै गर्नुहुनेछ अनि यो 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 खण्डहरूमा चाहिँ कसरी परमेश्वरले चाहिँ परमेश्वरको राज्यका विषयमा सिकाउँदैछ यहाँनिर जुन नकुरलाई कसरी एउटा राजाले क्षमा गरेका छन् Ten thousand talents equivalent to seven million dollars. अनि कसरी यानिरी दस हजार तोड़ा बनने को राज्य आइले को वैल्यू अनुसार मिलियन पैसा अनुसार. Um, not one, uh, not wanting to forgive the other servant. अनि तर कसरी ते उसले चे और को नकुर जस ले चे उसको रिन लेगा सब लाजे छमा करना चाहे ना. Who owed him uh, like a hundred denarii? जसले चाहिँ एक सय तोडा मात्रै लागेको थियो विच वाज द मनी इन द टाइम अ जुन चाहिँ त्यो समयको पैसा एन्ड इन टुडेस टाइम दैट इज ओनली वर्थ 16 सेंट्स अनि आजको त्यसको मूल्यमा हेर्ने भने चाहिँ त्यो चाहिँ सोरा पैसा मात्रै हुन्छ कम्पेयर टु द फर्स्ट सर्वेंट अ पहिलाको नकुरसँग तुलना गर्दा खेरि हु वाज फर्गिवन दिस वाज अ भेरी स्मल अमाउन्ट पहिलाको त्यसलाई क्षमा गरिदिएको पैसाको तुलनामा यो पैसा त अति नै सानो पैसा हो अति नै थोरै पैसा हो यो घटनाले चाहिँ हामीलाई के शिक्षा दिन्छ भने अनि कसरी यहाँ चाहिँ चेलाहरूले चाहिँ कतिचोटि हामीले क्षमा गरिनुपर्छ त्यसलाई गन्ती नगर भन्ने कुरा गर्दछ because god has forgiven you tara kasari yaha chai chela harla chai prabhu le parmeshwar le jasari hamela chama garnu bhayo prabhu le jasari chama garnu bhayo tesari nai timar le pani ek arkala chama gara bhanne kura sikhauncha jesus presents a lesson that is uh, for forgiveness ani yaha bata chai hamile kasari chama garnu parcha bhanne kura hamile shiksha pauna sakchau there is another verse found in ephesians 4 32 अनि एपिसिको 4 को 32 पदमा हामीले हेरिम भने एन ई बी काइन्ड टु वन अनदर टेंडर हार्टेड फरगिविंग वन अनदर इवन एज गॉड फॉर क्राइस्ट फॉर सेक हैथ फरगिविन यू जसरी परमेश्वरले क्रिस्टमा तिमीहरूलाई क्षमा गर्नुभयो त्यसरी नै एउटाले अर्कालाई क्षमा गरेर तिमीहरु एक अर्का प्रति कोमल मनको हृदय लुहाऊ जीसस इज टीचिंग हिज डिसाइपल्स अम अबाउट द क्रॉस एन्ड आल्सो अबाउट द चर्च अनि कसरी यो कुरा चाहिँ क्रोसको घटनाहरू दहा देखे पनि अनि त्यहाँदेखि आज मण्डलीमा पनि यो कुराहरू हामीले सिक्नु पर्छ कसरी यो कुराहरू चाहिँ चेला चेलाहरूलाई प्रबले सिकाउँदै हुनुहुन्छ 
Because God has forgiven us, He has also forgiven you. Ani permission le kosari amir la pani chama garna bai kosa. Tesari ne amir le pani orla chama garna parsa. Well, uh, in Romans five eight. Amir le Romi five ko eight pat ma. It also says, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Ani ami papi chade Christ amro nimti marnu baiyo ani le likhi kosa banne kosa. God tells us to forgive others. अनि कसरी यहाँ पनि परमेश्वरले अरुलाई क्षमा गर भन्ने कुरा बताउँछ In the parable of the unforgiving servant अनि कसरी यो निर्दय नकुरको दृष्टान्तको विषयमा चाहिँ The first servant's debt was forgiven अ फेरि भन अ पहिलो नकुरको कसरी ऋण चाहिँ क्षमा गरिएको थियो He was not required to repay until his forgiving nature was discovered अनि कसरी उसले आफ्नो प्राकृतिक कुराको एउटा जुन एउटा क्षमा गर्ने कुरा छ त्यो नगरिन्जलुलाई त्यो फेरि फर्काउनु पर्ने तिर्नु पर्ने कुरा बताएको छैन इन अदर वर्ड्स अम आर सिन एन्ड डेट इज पेड बाइ पेड फोर बाइ क्राइस्ट अनि अर्को तरिकाले हेर्ने भने चाहिँ हाम्रो पापको सम्पूर्ण ज्याला पनि सम्पूर्ण ऋण पनि कसरी क्रिस्टले तिर्दिनु भएको छ पुरा गर्नु भएको छ इट इज द ओन्ली रीज इट इज द ओन्ली वे अफ दैट गॉड शोस हिज लव अनि यो यो कसरी परमेश्वरले चाहिँ आफ्नो प्रेम यसैमा आफ्नो पुत्र दिएर प्रमाण गर्नु भयो बिकज वी क्यान नॉट गिव ब्याक व्हाट ही हैज डन फर अस अनि कसरी परमेश्वरले आफ्नो पुत्रमा गर्नु भएको छ त्यो कुराहरु हामी उहाँलाई प्रकार दिन सक्दैनौ We can't even imagine what he's done for us. अनि परमेश्वरले हाम्रो निम्ति गर्नु भएको कुराहरुको निम्ति हामीले सम्झना पनि हामीले याद पनि गर्न सक्दैनौ त्यो कुराहरु सोच्नु पनि सक्दैनौ. It is a gift of grace as said in Ephesians 2:8 through 9. यो चाहिँ कसरी एफेसियको पुस्तक मा हामीले हेर्यौ भने यो चाहिँ परमेश्वरको वरदान हो भनेर कुरा हामी थाहा पाउँछौ. परमेश्वरको उपहार हो भन्ने कुरा हामी देख्छौ. Um it says Jesus for ye are saved by grace through faith and this not of yourselves it is God's gift not on the principle of works that no one might boast Ah Ephesians 2 ko 8 ra 9 pad Ah kina bhane anugraha bata vishwas dwara timir le udhar paeko chau ra te timiru afai bata hoina yo ta parmeshwar ko vardan ho karma haru dwara hoina natra manis le te gaman garne cha Um therefore in the parable of the unforgiving uh, servant Ah uh, ese karan yo nirdai euta chama na dine nakur ko bisay ma The first servant had been forgiven all Ani kasari pailo nakur lai chai pailo das das lai chai sabai kura haru chhodi deko thiyo ulai chai bhuli deko thie And just like him we can be forgiven too Ani kasari tesari nai hamir le pani ek arka lai chama garnu parcha As children of God, आमी परमेश्वर को छोरा छोरी रूपाय को कारण, we should put our faith through Christ because हमरा विश्वास है क्रिस्टी से मर आखनो पर सा, अहाँ, because He forgives us all. आ अन्य ऐसे कारण लेकर सरे परमे प्रभु लेव नहीं है मेरा छमा करनो में कुछ आ, just because your friend said something mean to you, अन्य आपनों साथी ले आमेर लके बने बने माँ, we should not be mad at them. अनि कसरी साथीहरुले हामीलाई के भने भन्दैमा हामी चाहिँ दुखी हुनु पर्ने उनीहरुसँग रिसाउनु पर्ने त्यस्तो के कारण छैन इन्स्टेड वी शुड फर्गिव देम तर त्यसको साटो चाहिँ हामीले कसरी उसलाई क्षमा गर्न पर्छ जस्ट लाइक गॉड हैज फर्गिवन अस कसरी परमेश्वरले पनि हामीलाई क्षमा गर्नु भएको छ थ्यांक यू धन्यवाद मिको थ्यांक यू You, Elena, for the message. You're welcome. Um, I think everyone is done. If you guys have something, we miss you guys. Just speak up. I think I think we got everyone that wants to go today. And it's already ten. So. What is the matter? Agi ko jo na ko pustak na ay malay. 
मैले धेरै बुझ्न सके सेलिनाले धेरै अध्ययन गरेर ल्याएको आज हामी च्याप्टर 2 कम्प्लिट गरेका छौ है च्याप्टर 1 मा चाहिँ परमेश्वरले अप्सन राख्दिनु भएको रहेछ के अप्सन ह परमेश्वरले एउटा चोइस गॉड हैज किप्ड द चोइस फॉर जोना चोइस व्हाट टू चूज टू गो टू निनिवे और टू रेंट टू टारसिस तो जो ऑप्शन है चैप्टर 1 चाहिँ ऑप्शन राख दिनु भएको रहेछ अनि तो ऑप्शन मा व्हिच वन टू चूज चूज गर्ने मा जोना फेल भएछ के हा कुन छान्ने व्हिच वन टू चूज टू गो टू निनिवे और गो टू टारसिस हा अनि जोना वाज फेल्ड टू पिक द ऑप्शन समटाइम if we not be careful and if we not be faithful and if we not if we don't trust our god the god of the salvation we will miss to take the good option good choice hai eh? good choice bhanne kura hamile sikyau ra chapter 2 ko antim ma gara maile khyalai nagareko kura antim ma gara chapter 2 ko uh, jo, Jonah chapter 2 ko verse 10 ma verse 10 ma and the Lord spake oh uh, no uh, verse verse 9 ma ke bhane krishna but I will sacrifice unto thee with the voice of thanksgiving I will pay that uh, that I have vowed salvation is the Lord eh? yani di Jonah le jay udhar chay param prabhu parmeshwar bata aunga sa vanne kura jabba thapayo त्यति खेरै नि परमेश्वरले त्यो माछाला अराउनु भएर भमिट आउट गर्दैको छ के सल्भेसन नानीहरु आज चिल्ड्रन आज हामीले यु एन्ड मी शुड नो देयर इज ओन्ली सल्भेसन इन लॉर्ड जीसस क्राइस्ट हम देयर इज ओन्ली सल्भेसन एन्ड फर्गिवनेस अफ सिन्स इन लॉर्ड जीसस क्राइस्ट ह भन्ने कुरा आज हामीले था पाउनु पर्छ हामीले अब एक्सेप्ट गर्नु पर्छ जब जोनाले यो कुरा था पाए कि सल्भेसन चाहिँ परम प्रभुबाट मात्र आउँछ भनेको था पाए परमेश्वरले त्यो कुरा था पाउनको लागि त्यो कुरा नथापाको कारण ह उले उले तार निनिबे गएन उले निनिबेमा गरे ह त्यहाँ परमेश्वरले त्यो सल्भेसन ल्याउनु हुन्न भन्ने उ डाउट शंका थियो र उ निनिबे गएन उ कहाँ गयो टारसिस गयो है अनि परमेश्वरले उलाई ह परमेश्वरमा चाहिँ उद्धार छ ह परमेश्वरमा चाहिँ छुटकारा छ सल्भेसन छ ह रिडेम्सन छ भन्ने कुरा सिकाउनु भए भएको रहेछ के अनि जब उले त्यो कुरा एनालाइज गरो के भनेछ सल्भेसन इज अफ द लर्ड ह भन्ने जब उले त्यो कुरा जान्यो त्यतिखेर नै परमेश्वरले माछालाई अराउनु भयो अनि माछाले जोनालाई आउटसाइड ड्राई ल्यान्डमा भमिट आउट गर्दैको छ है र हामीले चाहिँ नानीहरू चिल्ड्रन यु नेभर नेभर ह यु नेभर फर्गेट दैट सल्भेसन इज ओन्ली इन लॉर्ड जीसस क्राइस्ट सेकेन्ड कोरिन्थियन च्याप्टर 6 को भर्स 2 मा यहाँ पनि सल्भेसनको विषयमा लेखिएको छ हो सल्भेसन चाहिँ केवल Lord Jesus Christ ma matrai sa. Ra aja sansar le, world le, unbeliever world le, unbelieving world le, ha? Yo kura jandai na. Ha? La. Uh, Second Corinthians chapter 6 ko verse 2 pa nuda. Yes, sir. I have heard thee in the time accepted. Uh-huh. In uh-huh. the day of salvation. Uh-huh. Have I so- sourced thee. Behold now is the accepted time. Behold now is the day of salvation. Yes. Yani le, behold. Now is the day of salvation. Banda sao? Ya, ami lepani. Aza ami lepani. Kai lepani nani ru? Salvation chhi keval Lord Jesus Christ ma cha banne kura. Ami le jan pa sa. Boli pa siti meru baar day sa. Guru na pon day sa. Koi doctor unchala, koi engineer unchala, koi pilot unchala. Aay, koi thulo thulo. Ab iya ara jan me ko ruta senate ma pukdo. Aay, koi ta president pani una sakchala. Aay. आ परमेश्वर में क्या कुरा को आसम बाप सा तो अरे ये मेरे जी बाहेता बनी साल बेसन जाएं 
परमेश्वर में रभु यीशु ख्रीस्ट में मत भूरा कहीं जीवन में नबिर्सिने नेवर ट्राई टू फर्गेट डू यू नो क्रिस्टियन लाइफ वाकिंग विथ जीजस एंड लिविंग विथ जीजस इज वन अफ द हेप्पीएस लाइफ द लाइफ वी सुड नट रिग्रेट प्रभु संग वाकिंग विथ जीजस एंड लिविंग विथ जीजस इज द लाइफ विदउट एनी रिग्रेट क्रिस्टियन जीवन चाहे पस्ता पर्दन टू लिव विथ जीजस वाक विथ जीजस वी सुड नट रिग्रेट वी डोट हेव टू रिग्रेट इज अ लाइफ फुल अफ जो एंड हेप्पीनेस एंड इटरनल हेप्पीनेस हो तो कारण जब जोना ने ठा पाए नी जोना ने ठा पाए नी के ठा पाए सालबेसन के परम प्रभु आने कुछ ठा पाए तेरे नहीं मछा ने जोना के बाहर फैंकीद हाई प्रभुला महिमा हो रानी थैंक यू हमी एक दुजा नानी प्रार्थना करें क्लोज कर भाई अभी नानी फ्री कर प्रेयर करने अनुरोध या अनुरोध केरोन एलिना एलिशा एक जना थ्री तीन जना प्रार्थना कर Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for the day that you've given us today. Thank you for this opportunity that you have given us to gather here in your name and to learn from your word. Thank you for all the messages that are said here tonight. Lord, we pray for the people in Tennessee that have been affected by the tornado. Pray that your loving hand may shadow them and that they just may stay safe, Lord. <clears throat> Lord, thank you for all the grace that you have given given us this week. We pray that you'll keep us safe throughout the day, keep us safe throughout this week, and come Sunday we pray that we may go to church and learn from your word once more. Keep us safe throughout the night as we go to bed, and send your angels to guard over us. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. I pray. Amen. 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 <laughs> Heavenly gracious Father, thank you so much for giving us this time to be together and read your word and letting us be able to share messages to one another. Thank you for that time that you have given unto us. And Lord, we pray for the victims in the tornado in Nashville. Lord, just an hour away from us, we just pray for them, Lord, where their houses may be, where their families might be, Lord. And As it is getting cold, they may not have homes. Lord, we just pray for them that Thou may please be with them and let their houses be restored. And Lord, let them have a warm and nice place to be in. Father God, and thank you so much for everything that Thou has done for us. And Lord, we just pray for all the all the children and all the parents who are going to be separated. And now we're going to. Sleep, Lord. We just pray for each other that Thou may please be with us as we're sleeping, and Lord, just keep Your hand upon us. We thank You so much, and we give thanks in Your holy and most precious name. Amen. 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 Heavenly Father, thank You for everything that You have done for us this week and throughout the days that we might have went to school and it might have been hard for us to study. And to listen, or maybe to just listen to what the teacher says. But Father, we know that Your word is way more important than the rest of what pe people say in the world. And how it's so amazing that You made this Bible for us so that we can read it every day and we can get knowledge and become wiser. And Lord, pray for the people in Tennessee and how. The, a tornado has broken their homes, maybe separated their families. Please help them and help them restore their houses and help them meet with their family again. And we pray that you will keep us all safe during the night. As it's colder, help us to stay warmer. And please make sure an angel comes down and washes us as we sleep. And don't let anything bad happen to anybody here. Bless everybody here, and thank you for letting us spread your word today. And thank you for everything you have done for us and keeping us safe, Lord. 
We pray in your holy and blessed name. Amen. 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 Jai Masi, Jai Masi, Jai Masi, Jai Masi, Jai Masi. Lah, nani ru? Now, timiru, kiko ni, timiru kuganu saksa.